Single player games are very 2003. Thankfully, the exam board seem quite keen to introduce two player shenanigans into our skill set. I love this, like genuinely. It's nice to be able to build this thing out into something that might actually be a bit of fun. Let's get this show on the road. Our first step is to add a new actor into our world for the second character. Let's make a new subclass and you'll find the details for what you need to call it and the image to use in the exam question. We're calling this character the first mate and grabbing the image as provided before okaying that and compiling it. The next step will be to place our first mate into the world. Right click on the first mate actor and select new first mate from the menu. Pop your character down wherever it should appear and check your question paper for this. Then make sure to right click and save your world so that we don't lose the first mate if we need to reload or recompile. In terms of code, well, we can just rip most of this off from our original user controlled character. Jump into the code and copy all of the movement code that we put into the act method. Jump into the first mate code and paste that into the act method here. Now, we're mostly there, but if we were to leave it here, then both characters would be controlled by the same keys. Now, that would be a bit of a weird game. Thinking back to when we built that directional code for our pirate captain, we used the arrow key to control up, down, left and right. We used the is key down method to construct a bunch of if statements that reacted to each key press. Well, now we're going to take a step into the world of a real game and attempt to map the W, A, S and D keys to the movement. If you've ever used this control scheme before, you'll know that W is up, D is right, S is down and yes, you've guessed it, A is left. Let's start with up. We need to get back into the code we just pasted and change the is key down reference for the up key to the key that we actually care about, the W key. It's as simple as just replacing the string up with the string W. Next up is right, we're replacing that with the letter D. On to down, we're looking to take the string down and replace it with S. Finally, we look to replace the text for left with the letter A. Well, that's the character control all sorted. Remarkably easy when you've got most of the code already done, isn't it? Let's get it compiled. No errors and test it out. Now W sends our first mate upwards. A sends him left. S gets him moving back down the world. And D shoots him off to the right. Great. Of course, we may have two players but player two can't actually interact with the world just yet. We'll sort that in an upcoming video because otherwise this two player game is going to be about as much fun as pulling teeth. In the next video, respawning.